He knew everybody, you know, he toured up with the Rolling Stones, he toured with the Beatles, 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 the Beatles. It has been well noted elsewhere that many bands from the 1960s were influenced by Alistair Crowley and Thelema, including the Beatles. Here, on the cover of Hell, we see the Beatles performing the signs of the grades of Alistair Crowley's religion, A Star, A Star. It was 20 years ago today. The opening line to the track Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is said to be a reference to the anniversary of Crowley's death 20 years previously. Here's Crowley on the cover, positioned second in line to the Vedic yogi Sri Yukteswar Jiri. The Mano Cornuto, or Horned Hand, is the hand sign symbolising the pagan horned god. Here are the Beatles on a photo shoot for the Yellow Submarine album. Notice that Paul is doing the OK sign and John is doing the Mano Cornuto. In this image, John decides to stick with his horned hand gesture while Paul switches his OKs to an owl face. We'll start straight off with a letter from Winslow in Cheshire. Jimmy Savile knew the Beatles well. In the early days, he booked the Beatles when he was a club promoter. He then went on to tour with the Fab Four at the height of their fame, where he acted as compere and master of ceremonies. In the 1960s, Jimmy Savile and the Beatles were the British pop industry. Both helped to usher in a new era of music, Savile as DJ and Top of the Pops presenter, and the Beatles, who spearheaded the British invasion of America. If it is quite obvious the Beatles were influenced by the occult and the magician Crowley, is it too outrageous to suggest that Savile could have also been? God is the fabric of everybody's life, and God is the fabric of my life. No more religious or less religious than anybody else. So I would not say that I'm a religious man, but I do know who the boss is. Or anywhere, God is all over, not necessarily up there. If the good Lord, when he was doing his thing, if he bothered about people not seeing eye to eye with him, he would have got nowhere and a lot of us would have got nowhere into the bargain. So therefore, you've got to square your shoulders and you've got to stand up to be counted. Mm. And you haven't really got to pay too much attention to whether people think that you're not doing the right thing. As long as your conscience is clear, then you're OK. I'm not constrained pretty well by anything. The tough thing in life is ultimate freedom. Ultimate freedom is the big challenge. Now, I've got it. And I can tell you there's not many of us that have got ultimate freedom. 